talking about how well you were treated by the cons in, in the NFL, would you like to see the wrestlers in AEW get a lot of the same benefits that the NFL players are uh, offered? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's hard, I think, because we were talking about professional wrestling. Like, yes, they are under contract by All Elite Wrestling, or like if you know uh, other guys are under contract by WWE. But at the same time, the reason why I was able to get all those benefits was because I had a union that had my back. Right. You know, and and I think with, with wrestling, and you're starting to see with MMA too now, is where you know the, the there is you want you want the medical, you you want the benefits, you want the four hundred one k and things like that. You want the future stuff going forward. But if you don't have a union that can, you know, express those goals to upper management, um, I feel like it's not going to transpire. So while I think it would be fantastic for wrestlers, because let's be honest, it's, it's a physical sport. Injuries happen. And, you know, I mean, while the, the lifespan of a wrestler can be um, a pretty long time, there's sometimes, you know, the rare cases, knock on wood, where guys get hurt. And, you know, that's pretty much it for the wrestling career. So... Yeah, I think if they had some kind of union, that would be fantastic. But unless they don't have that, I don't see that really happening. How do how do you think? I mean, how how what would your advice be if you know there are folks out there that you know would like some kind of a wrestling union like that? Like, what would your advice be to them about how to get something like that rolling? You know what I mean. Basically, what you need um, with the union, and you know, I mean, and Van has had one for for a long time, so I, I can't tell you like how that all transpired, but. Right. I think especially with All Elite Wrestling, the, the beauty that they have is the fact that, yes, Tony Khan is the boss, but he's put people in place in upper management like Cody Rhodes, like Kenny Omega, like the Young Bucks, that have been wrestling their entire lives, that know the business in and out. And I think anytime you have you know, the faces of the company and you have the big stars and then you mix them with the younger talent, maybe the talent that people don't really recognize but you know, are on their way up, Anytime you can have conversations with them, well, then you can start a union, you know, and, and then you can start going forward with, you know, maybe pre presenting ideas to upper management where, like, where, hey, maybe, you know, when, when our contracts are up or maybe when we retire, we'd like some benefits here or there. I mean, it's just about getting, the, you know, the conversation started, the dialogue started. Yeah. But, but the biggest thing and the problem, because like I said, I do MMA now, and with the UFC, the biggest problem is not everyone's on the same page because when you have people in the UFC – when you have those top stars, they're not communicating with the bottom part of the roster, you know, because it's the bottom part of the roster that's going to need all the benefits, right? Like, if, if you're the top faces in any company, um, you're probably going to be more well-off when you retire as opposed to the, maybe some of the bottom people that didn't make as much money. 